another Wax Chat Live video. So while we wait for people to filter in, I will wait for a comment to come up from someone if they join the live. That way I know that you are hearing me okay. But today what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a Bring Back My Bar warm review. And I thought let's do it live because every six months I run into the same problem where I have to upload a very long video and there's not enough storage on my phone. So I thought to myself, I'll do a live video and that way if people are around, they can contribute. It'll be a community effort because, oh hi Alexandra, great. I thought to myself, I have Tester Tuesday videos out on most of these scents, so if you want a longer in-depth review, you can always watch those videos, but I don't feel the need to kind of rehash the same information over and over, so I'll try to give you my condensed version, and then I will also wait and see what kind of comments you guys come up with. So let me just bring myself up on the iPad here. I'm a little late getting started. We had a family barbecue, so I was rushing to get here. So, hi Cassandra. Hi, Anna. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go in alphabetical order. So we'll go through a scent, even if we spend a couple of minutes on each scent, we're gonna be, a, it's gonna be 50 minutes. So it could potentially be a longer video. I usually try to keep my live videos to about an hour. Hello, Melissa, hello, Carrie, hello, Brandy. Nice to see everyone. And obviously if I start hearing questions and feedback from you guys, then We'll try to stick to a couple minutes, two or three minutes per scent, and that will make it a, a plenty long enough video. So, let me just bring myself up here. See how I do this here. I need to be able to see, sometimes the, uh, hi Johanna. Oh my gosh, I forgot to remind you. <laughs> you, you, found, you found it. Okay, so here I am. I'm just gonna turn my volume down. Sorry, there's an ad. <laughs> yes, oh, there we go. So. All right, so we're ready to go. I have my sheet, and you guys have probably heard Bring Back My Bar News up the you know what, but I thought at the end of the month, it would be nice if we could hear from some people that have started to try the scents themselves. So it's always better when you're watching any video, make sure you go down in the comments section and read lots of comments because that's where you're gonna get a lot of information from the general public. So the first step, let me just bring over my bars. The first scent is Bamboo Yuzu. This one has notes of dewy bamboo, lotus flower, yuzu, and sage. So a fresh green kind of scent. Um, I warmed this in two spots. I warmed this in my bedroom. I got seven out of 10 and I warmed it in my garage. And no, with the majority of the scents, if you hear me say I warmed them in the garage, this time only that does not mean that I didn't like them. I just was trying to warm as many things as possible. So in the garage, it did really well, eight out of 10. And I said, if you're someone that likes sea salt and avocado, but you also like components of white tea and cactus, and you like a sage note, then you'd probably love this one. So would I be repurchasing this one? Um, maybe one or two, I think I picked up two. Early in the month, I picked up a bunch, and some of those ones, if my customers ordered and I decided I didn't want them, some of them I kind of like move over, moved over into their, their column, but. Yeah, this one did pretty good, two or three days. What did you guys think of uh, Bamboo Yuzu? It's very fresh. I think it'd be really nice in a kid's room, like a boy's room especially, because they could use a little bit of freshness, but yeah, I, I like this one. Anybody have any feedback on this one that you want to chime in? Let's see, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I think we're good. So yeah, that is Bamboo Yuzu. Let's move on. No one wants to talk about that one, we'll move on. <laughs> All right, the next one is Berry of Paradise. Not to be confused with the song Almost Paradise. This one's coming out from under the door some days. Oh, yes, Jacqueline said she got a pickly note. And I, when I warmed this in the garage, I could smell like a cactus pickly note. So I wasn't crazy about that, but the other spot I warmed it, I, I did not smell that, so that's good. All right, Berry of Paradise. This one is basically has notes of sugared strawberry, bird of paradise, and vanilla bean. And I said it's an artificial fruity strawberry, but it's creamy. And it's a little bit like those Campino strawberry candies, but not quite. Some people describe this one like a pink starburst. And I had strength and throw did very well at its max. It was like eight out of 10 in my entrance way. And in Drew's room, it was seven and a half out of 10. And I left it going a two to three days in those areas. 
And I think if you're someone that likes strawberry swirl, you might want to give this one a try. I did have some testers of this one. So I, I warmed my big tester and then I, I used three cubes. And so I think I did pick up a bar, but but I think I'm going to sell that to one of my locals and I think this would be plenty. It's funny, when this first came out, I really, really liked this and now I, I don't like it as much. Anyway, Shannon, if you're here in the in the comments, can you comment below that you're here? I just wanna make sure Shannon's here. Pamela said she likes liked Berry of Paradise. I liked it well enough, but if you've been wa watching my channel for a while, you probably know I'm not huge into fruity scents. And I find the fruity scents I don't seem to love are like berry scents. Because when you think about it, like you have fruity scents and then from that you have like citrus can be in fruity, but I do like citrus. And I like apples. I don't know, I, I'm just not crazy about like strawberry, some raspberries, some blackberries. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> okay, speaking of blackberries, let's do the next one. Blackberry orange marmalade. Oh, I'm having problems with allergies and having to use fans and AC. And Ashley is here from Kansas, and Angie is here. Hello. Trying to keep up with the, uh, did, did, did Shannon come on? My friend Shannon, if you are here, just let me know. I'm just going to see. She, maybe she can't find me. She's my moderator, and I think Johanna also has a moderator ability. So let me just see. Okay, she was here earlier, okay. So let's see, blackberry orange marmalade. I have, the notes are um, orange marmalade, blackberry jam and sugar crystals. Obviously a fruity blend. The blackberry doesn't read like perfumey or floral to me. It's a really nice blackberry, pure fruitiness with that little tiny bit of orange marmalade and a little tiny bit of sweetness, mostly tart. And this did really well in my home. Um, both spots I warmed at 8 out of 10. One was the TV room upstairs and one was my open layout. I left it going only a day though. I, I find it didn't, didn't last very long. Emma says she loves blackberry orange marmalade. Oh, I, I would re repurchase this especially because it's, it, it is nice on its own but it's a really nice mixer. You could put sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream, you know, lots of different things with this. Someone says I need to compare it with vanilla blackberry. To me, vanilla blackberry is more like a musky, woodsy scent. Hi Patrice. And this one's more fruity and basic. And sometimes I like fruity and basic. Um, sometimes Scentsy does like, there's almost too much going on. And to me, this is more simplistic scent, but very well done. All right, anybody else want to chime in about blackberry orange marmalade? We have 54 people on, so thank you so much. And we have six thumbs up already, so thank you. So. One thing about live videos, I tend to do them a few times a year. And for some reason, I, I always forget in my regular videos to say like, please like like and subscribe. I don't know, I, I try, I mean, you're supposed to say that because they say if you don't say it, people will forget to do it. <laughs> but basically, if you subscribe to someone's channel, in my opinion, you're showing that you enjoy that person's channel and you've gotten some sort of value out of what they're saying, so. And if you like the video, you can always just like the video, so. All right, next one, Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Someone says, I'm not a huge fan of Buckleberry. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that one, but it's coming up. All right, Blonde Wood and Moonflower. This one has come back um, one or two times since I've been a consultant. So I've, I've experienced this one before. It says, Pale Warm Woods, Amber, Moonflower, White Roses, and Lilies. I don't really get white roses. Did not like it on cold, but when I warmed, but liked when I warmed a lot. I'm not sure which Desiree is what one Desiree is talking about. Maybe it was Buckleberry. You guys are getting ahead of me. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Blonde Wood and Moonflower. This one, it's kind of like a woodsy scent with a powdery, dusty sandalwood floral. It's very long lasting to me, but at like a medium. And what else do I have written down? If you like cashmere Perry, you probably like this. This one was very long lasting for me, but but I don't know if I'd want it any stronger, to be honest. This is one surprised me the most, not usually my cup of tea, but Blonde Wood and Moonflower is going in the club. Not a fresh lover, but like that one. I'm gonna, Josh was talking about Very Perry Pumpkin, so we're gonna get to that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go in alphabetical order. So Blonde Wood and Moonflower, I put light to medium, long lasting. I would, I think I repurchased just one. 
All right, next one, blueberry pancakes. This is Suzanne, one of Suzanne's favorite sons. And you, you know who else really likes this? this is John Sparks. I hope John is doing well. Uh, blueberry butter and maple. So it's obviously a bakery fruity. This one, some people say they don't like the blueberry. Blueberry pancakes was too much for me. It was one of those smells you can taste. <laughs> yeah, I had written down that it's eight out of 10 in my open layout. Oh, I can smell it now. There's only one cube and I can smell it. It was a two dayer and most scents don't have enough stamina to last two days in my open layout. So two days, eight out of 10. Mudroom and laundry room is, is almost, I have nine to nine and a half. I, I usually don't give things like 10 out of 10, but this was pretty strong. Is there a lot of maple? Um, to me, it smells like almost like a, yeah, to me, there's a fair amount of maple, but it's, there's almost like the butter in here is almost like a browned butter. It's like a deep scent, a deep kind of scent. Like almost like the pancakes were buckwheat, buckwheat pancakes. So that one, I actually repurchased a, purchased a couple. And then as some customer orders came in, I was kind of filling their orders from my stash because I reconsidered. Oh. I just lost a couple of comments. My boyfriend, let me just read what it says here. It's hard to keep up. All right, Shannon says, I smell a lot of maple. Emma says, my boyfriend loves blueberry pancakes. Wasn't my favorite, it's kind of too much for me. And Pamela had to take it out after an hour. So the other thing is, I do find it pretty intense. Um, it kind of, it kind of, uh, at first I didn't really like it and then I kind of, grew to like it more as it was warming. And then when you smell it again on cold, I'm like, I don't like it again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it came back. It's an excellent performer in the sense that it's very strong and it, it's somewhat long lasting. So take that for what it is. Let me just grab the next set. I got a big mess going on here. Alrighty, this next one is not my friend. So who here likes Buckleberry? We're gonna talk Buckleberry. I got my old buckleberry, empty, and my brand new one, not used. <laughs> and none of my customers ordered this, so. I don't know what it is. It smells like stale beer to me, like with berries. <laughs> okay, the notes do not say stale beer. The notes say fresh berries and buttery coffee cake. There's definitely a lot of berries in this, and they're kind of not sweet. So I described it like juicy blackberries and raspberries that settle down to the bottom and it's it's almost too gummy and they burst and they're sour. And a lot of people say they smell cinnamon. I don't know if I smell cinnamon. I smell something that could be cinnamon. I'm not super sensitive to cinnamon so that's probably why I don't smell it. But this one is definitely not my friend. <laughs> this is probably one of my least favorite ones out of the, the round. Um, just when I warm it, something really turns, something in it turns my nose, it, like I'm, turn, I'm turned off by it. Patrice says, I've never tried it, to be honest. I'm not a fan of cooked berries with or without spice. So, yes, I think if you mix this with any vanilla bakery, it would be, it would be really nice. Almond croissant would be nice. You could probably mix it with, I describe them like beige scents. You could mix it with any bakery beige scent, <laughs> beige in color, and it's probably gonna go well with this, so. This one lasted pretty long for a berry scent, a couple of days. Let's see, where did I warm it? Eight out of 10 in my daughter's room, and I had note that it was traveling, and seven out of 10 in my main space. I said if you like joy and wonder or spiced berries and you could picture a slightly more food edible version, that's what it reminded me of. Uh, and I said repurchase, no. How are we doing for comments? Buckleberry is just okay. There are way too many, or there are too many better scents for fall. Yes, actually, that's a great point. I had written down fall underlined because it is more of a fall scent. It said something about summer's bounty, but it was more fall. All my croissant is not in the new catalog. I'm gonna need therapy after this. Yeah, I was surprised at that. I was surprised at that. We can kind of talk about the new catalog. We'll kind of save that to the end. Right now we have 74 people watching, so thank you so, so much. Let's move on. I see what time we're at, 14 minutes. Okay, so Caramel Vanilla Delight is the next one. Now, I don't have my bar anymore because one of my local customers bought it, but I have my brick. <laughs> so I have this brick, plus I have a full brick. So I think I'm good for a while because I have a brick problem and I hoard bricks. All right, this is a bakery. This is 
vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and white rum. I have a note that it's a very light, runny caramel. It's not like a thick, heavy caramel. I think there's lots of butter in there. And the, the creaminess of the vanilla, it's very rich. I have a note here, it's rich and creamy. And the rum, I think, is just there. To, it switches it up just a little. Almost like when you're making that caramel, you just put a splash of rum, some of the alcohol evaporated, and just gave it a little special something-something. Yeah, guess what? Uh, eight out of 10 in my upstairs TV room. In, in my garage, not because I don't like it, just because I needed space, seven and a half. Uh, one thing I will say is my husband kept saying, I don't know what smell is going in the garage, but it smells really good. <laughs> so he really liked this one. Probably because maybe I put bad scents in the garage usually, I don't know. And he was really he was really liking this one. So I, have, I definitely have enough. And performance was about average and longevity to, I would say just maybe a day. It wasn't a, a really long lasting scent, but it's really nice while it's going. And actually you could mix, you could mix Caramel Vanilla Delight with Buckleberry if you want. How did you guys do with Caramel Vanilla Delight? What was, what's the consensus here? Let me see. Uh, Dion says, I'm clubbing this one. I assume that you mean Caramel Vanilla Delight. Uh, Johanna, do you mean that this one's your favorite? Intensity for Caramel Vanilla Delight, I would say it was about a medium. So eight out of 10 in my TV room, seven and a half out of 10 in the garage. That's at its peak, obviously. I find most scents, they usually peak around the two hour mark. And maybe that's just because when I, that's when I go in and check. Them. <laughs> and then after that, they seem to start to die down, but they're not all like that. So anyway, that's Caramel Vanilla Delight. That one came out as a brick, I believe, right when I was first getting into scents. So. And yeah. So the next one is purple. We have a couple purple ones coming up. It's Coconut Vanilla Orchid. This is my old bar. So I warmed three cubes, plus I have a big bag of testers here. I finished off some testers and I have my brand new bar not used. All right, what am I missing? Caramel Vanilla Delight was Johanna's favorite. The caramel in this is Chef's Kiss Perfection. That's so cute. You're so cute, Johanna. Blonde Wood and Moonflower is lovely. Works great in bedroom, but not so well in open space. We'll get more. Yes, good point. That is an excellent point. It's definitely a bedroom scent. I find if you put it in an enclosed space, this is Blonde Wood and Moonflower, by the way. If you put it in an enclosed like bedroom bathroom area, it's gonna last a long time, but at a light to medium. But if you tried it in a big area, you'd, you'd probably be like, where is it? Now, that's because I think as scent addicts, we tend to, how do I say this? Sometimes we need more and more scents to satisfy us whereas someone else might come in your house and still think it smells nice. So keep that in mind. All right, coconut vanilla orchid. Let's move on. Ready? Feedback on this one. Get your typing ready. Okay, I describe this as a romantic creamy floral. It says it's got orange zest, coconut milk, vanilla orchid. I don't really get a lot of orange zest and some people say they do, but, but I really don't. But you know what? As this was warming, it reminded me of like a creamy floral version of rainbows and butterflies and it could be the color, but I would walk in the room and I'm like, I feel like this is like a floral, creamy, feminine version of rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> so I did like this. Some people, I was watching videos and some people were like, I found this one was, didn't get the greatest feedback in the people that I watched, but that just could be random. But I, I enjoyed this. I have this burr and I don't know if I have another one. I, I might have one more. So what do I have here? It's not a very strong scent. I have written down six out of 10 in both these spots I warmed it, which was my kid's bathroom and my room. And in my room, I left it going two days and in the kid's bathroom, almost three days. And I just have written down a, a creamy, sweet body care, slightly floral, floral version of rainbows and butterflies. So if you smell rainbows and butterflies, it's like a kid's fruity scent. It's kind of fun and happy. And this is kind of like a creamed out coconut milk. Coconut milk doesn't really smell like coconut. It just smells like a creamy, like hint of coconut. So yeah, repurchase. I have written down one. So how are we doing? Everyone doing okay? That's good. All right. Cotton candy cookie. I don't know where, um, this is an old bar. Pamela says she loves rainbows and butterflies. And I had a bunch of testers. I used up my testers. Okay. So this is the interesting thing. My testers were old and this is, this was from 
when it came out in the Easter collect. No, this was not when it came out in the Easter collection. It came out one other time and I put it in my club. No, for one bar. I put it in my club for one bar because my daughter liked it. So this is one of those scents that I'll just tell you, when I did my Tester Tuesday video, I did not like it. My daughter liked it. Now I love this. I don't know if she's, what she thinks. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to put this one in my club. I only, I'm only going to put two in my club. This is one of them. So this one is basically cotton candy, cookies, gooey treats with sugared raspberries. So I think it would be like a pink cotton candy. And I think the cookie is like a hard, one of those hard, crunchy, like with the sugar on the outside, it's in the tin kind of cookie. And I feel like there is like a gooey, almost like a gooey, you know that, what's that stuff, marshmallow fluff in the background with like raspberry drizzle or something? Mm. Anyway, when I warmed this in my bedroom with the testers, I got so much cotton candy. And what did I put? Six out of 10 for strength, but it lasted like a while, probably like three days. It just, it just kept going at a, like a low, like a low, low, but I could smell it in my room. It always smelled like cotton candy. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> so then I took, I took a big tester and two cubes and put it down in Drew's room. And guess what? His room was more cookie. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> I actually like the cotton candy version of my room better, so I don't know if it's just the way my nose was picking up. But yeah, it's just an example. You know, you might dislike something, and once you try it again, probably two or three years later, you could be like me, and you could love it, and you want to put it in your club. So let's see what I'm missing. I took cotton candy out of town with me, and I could barely smell it even in a hotel room. I, I think this is going to be one of those scents that some people get performance and some people don't, because it's not overly strong. So if it's kind of right on that border of, you know, what, what is it going to do? It, it could split, it could split the decision. So Shannon says she couldn't smell it. I can definitely smell it. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Some people say it's a powerhouse. It is not for a powerhouse for me. <laughs> it is not a powerhouse. I would never warm this in my open layout. Like never, ever, ever, ever. I would warm it in my bedroom. And you know what I might do? Cause I'm going to put my club. This would be the kind of scent. So normally with Scentsy Scents, I like to put them in in the morning, let them go all night. Not all night, but like let them go and then turn them off. But sometimes I just want a scent to fall asleep to. And I might put like one cube in a warmer really close to me and just smell it. And then maybe a, a night or two later, put another cube in and just smell it when I fall asleep. And normally I put two cubes in, but like just something as I'm falling asleep that I could smell. Long lasting in my diamond milk glass, slow and steady. Yeah, I would say slow and steady for me as well. So anyway, we've talked a lot about that one. I really like it. It's in my clip. Oh, Joshua says it's nice with cloudberry dreams. And it's funny, I'll only mix things usually that, if I mix, how do I say this? If I don't like something, I don't mind mixing it with something else that I don't like. If I love something, I'll only mix it if I have it in my club because I don't want to waste it. So say I didn't have cotton candy cookie in my club and he told me to do that mix, I'd be like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not tainting this with something else. What if I don't like it? Anyway, that's the way my brain works. Debbie says, hello. Krista says, Joshua, I'm gonna try that. Cloudberry Dreams is one of the scents that's not coming back. We can get into that very briefly at the end. I, I, I've noticed a few people talking about it in videos. So you could always go look those up as well. All right, I gotta move a little faster so we get through these. Cutie pie cupcake. Well, we'll go through this one quick because this is not, look at that. It's like the, the canines. <laughs> uh, this is not one, this is one we've heard about before. It's in, I would put in bakery. It's sweet clementine, yellow cake batter, and sugary icing. I said it's like a petite, delicate, pretty cupcake that you would see at a baby shower or a wedding shower. And you just pop it in your mouth and it has a bright citrus tone and it kind of just so fluffy and good. And you could eat 10. And that's what this reminds me of. It's kind of like a spring and summer bakery to me. And some people say it smells like Fruit Loops to them. Uh, for strength, I said seven and a half out of 10 in my bedroom. And in my open layout, I tried it there just because I have a lot of, of this wax, six out of 10. It's definitely a one dare for me. I can't really get long lasting performance out of that. I did stockpile that. I didn't put it in my club. Well, there's a customer I have um, local, local to me and she has a Scentsy club but she's not comfortable managing it. So I kind of have adopted her and put her in my club. And technically, I don't think we're supposed to do that. But if, if it comes to the point where the customer is not gonna have a club because she's not comfortable handling it, then I'm gonna handle it for her. So she wants to try this in her club. And if she, she's not sure if she's gonna keep that or lemon drizzle cake, so. 
Debbie says, I love cutie pie cupcake. I've got two days out of it. Yeah, I think it, de it just depends on, on, on your, how perceptive your nose is. For me, I don't get a lot out of it after the first day, so I probably just moved on. All right. I like that one. It's one that I'm stocking up on, and I have it in my club for her. So, Enchanted Mist. I'm going to move over my next pile. So, I, I must say, I, I did have a brand new bar here that I did not warm, but I warmed my old bar, and I, I meant to get to this and warm extra, and I didn't. I do not tend to close my doors. I don't think my scents bleed into other rooms, but my boyfriend thinks it does. <laughs> Depends on the scent, too. So let's talk Enchanted Mist. Let me know your thoughts here as I'm reading, okay? It says, Juicy Apples, Rose Petal, and Jasmine. I describe this as a fruity floral. I don't get any rose, which is a good thing. Uh, maybe like a golden delicious apple with an, an almost like a warm lemon lime sprite influence and maybe that's the jasmine reading like that a little bit of floral tendency there but with my old bar i didn't get great results i had three out of ten in erica's room two out of ten in my room and in drew's room i put extra cubes and i got three out of ten in the kids bathroom it worked a little bit better i had some testers as well six out of ten so i'd probably warm this in my kids bathroom because that's where i got the most of it oh debbie does not like this one <laughs> i like it it's just it's not a very good performer yeah, I, I like this, but I found it it kind of just tapered off very fast what I could get from it. So what I might do is let this sit for a good six months and then give it a try. And I'll try it in a small space and then, you know. I love this scent. I'm clubbing two bars, but in the living room it smelled like rotten fruit. Well, definitely don't warm it there. And Kara says, I liked a sample, but I didn't like... Oh, I missed the, I missed the last little bit. I'll bring it up. It's hard to keep up, but we'll do our best. Uh, Kara says, I liked it, but I don't like it now. It has a weird fermented scent. I find sometimes scents can do that. For me, Skinny Dippin' is, is an example. I loved Skinny Dip when I first got into Scentsy, and now I'm just kind of like, ooh. I usually warm it if my kids are home and I'm going to work. I, I warm it those days. I feel the same about blueberry cheesecake. It smells rancid to me. Yeah, there's certain scents that are divisive that might not be great, um... Yeah, so so this one, I I think I reper I think I have that one and maybe that's it, maybe one more, but but it's just too bad the performance is not very good on this one. But I went to a wedding yesterday and I uh, my husband gave them some money, but I also wanted to give them Sensi because why not? And so I had, you know, as a Sensi consultant, you usually have new warmers that you have like stockpiled that you would give as a gift. So I gave them, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of the warmer? It's kind of like white. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Anyway, it's kind of like a basic white warmer ceramic. And I gave four bars. And I, I'll tell you the bars that I gave. I gave them down the aisle because why not? It's a wedding. And then the other three, I wanted to give safe collection of bars. So I gave Welcome Home because it's just a little bit spicy and people seem to like that one. It's not overly strong. I gave them Vanilla Bean Buttercream because it's a bakery vanilla. And I gave them Black Raspberry Vanilla because it's like a fruity scent. So I thought those were good choices. Yes, alabaster. Thank you, Becky. That's exactly what I gave them. All right, flower child. Is that what we're on next? Yes, flower child. Here we go. I've not smelled juicy, Viva La Juicy perfume, but rumor has it this is what this smells like. So Sensi describes this as sweet red berries, wild gardenia, and sandalwood. I don't really get any of those notes. It just It's like a mixture to me, a perfumey floral mixture. All right, let's talk performance. In Ryan's room, I put an extra cube. I put three, and it was about four out of 10. Here in my bedroom, I also, I put two cubes in my meat in the meadow and one cube in my tea rose in my bathroom. So I was getting it from both sides. And it was about five out of 10. And I feel like day one, it might've been four. And then day two, it might've been five. And then it kind of tapered. I, I don't know, like this seemed a little stronger on day two. It might've just been the way my nose was reading it. Or the environment but but I liked this it's very very pretty it's just not very strong and I've bashed this one in the past because I couldn't smell it at all I could smell it better this time but it's just not a good performer either so in this round we had a lot of like perfumey not great performers yes pretty but too weak flower child was pretty on cold but it was another one I couldn't smell warming yeah and and to be honest it's hard in the summer because things have to fight the the heat and humidity as well so what you could probably do is hold on to this until like depending on where you live when the temperature starts to dip just a little and then give it a try because then it'll have a bit more cure time 
and the temperature it won't be fighting the intense temperature so you don't want it to get too cold um, and use a nice hot ceramic like a really good warmer in my opinion if you said like I'm brand new to Scentsy and I don't know what warmer I should buy well most people start with mini warmers which I don't really like <laughs> it's not that I don't like them but they're just not going to give you a lot of bang for your buck so what I would suggest is picking up like the etched core the plain white etched core or even the alabaster like a plain ceramic but the etched core is such a great performer it's petite and little and then put a couple cubes and let it rip and see how it does the other thing you do is if you're struggling with a bar in my opinion is you can put a little bit of wax in a strong ceramic and then maybe put a little bit of wax in like a strong element so something 12 water higher and then you might get different performance because you'll get the burst from the ceramic and then the element is more of a sustained release for me so that might help you troubleshoot. So anyway, just some advice there. But this is a beautiful scent I just have written down light. All right, moving on. How are we doing for time? We have 105 people. And someone asked if I liked bamboo yuzu or sunburst bamboo better. I actually really like sunburst bamboo, but I really like sea salt and avocado more than bamboo yuzu. And I find, like, my brain puts things in compartments. And so I'm like, well, I'd always pick sea salt and avocado. So anyway... I don't know if you've heard, but sea salt and avocado is not making it into the fall and winter catalog. So that one is going in the club for me. Desiree says, I'd love to be an adventurous mixer when the mood strikes. Deb says, thank you, Desiree and Tracy. I missed what she's thanking them for, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'll see it on the replay. What I usually do is I try to go back and watch the replay because I usually miss stuff as I'm watching this. And actually, speaking of, if you're watching this on the replay, there's a little button... So up near the description where you read the title, it'll say like, like, dislike, and then there'll be a little button. It usually says live chat. If you click that, you can actually read everybody's comments as the video goes, which is really nice. Oh, Jacqueline says she thought about me with sea salt and avocado. So there's this girl at work, Audrey, and she, well, another girl at work, Kelly, said she really likes sea salt and avocado. And Audrey said, oh, I've never smelled that. So I brought her in a brick cube. <laughs> And I cut it into four and she warmed it when she was cleaning her house on the weekend. And she's like, can you add some sea salt and avocado into your next order for me? So I converted someone. Joshua says, I only like sea salt and avocado in pods. Well, that's still good. You're getting your fix somehow. All right. Let, where are we now? We are at Forever Yours. So Forever Yours is described as sweet, creamy lemon and jasmine. So where's my... Oh, where is my Forever Yours? Here it is. So I did have some testers of this, and I remember really liking them, and they weren't overly strong. I have a, I have a note here, brightness from the lemon and maybe some amber, and it's a floral perfume scent to me. Uh, in my TV room, it was about 5 or 6 out of 10. Oh, and my son Ryan, oh, he banged into the warmer when I was warming this, and there was so much wax. It was everywhere. It was a beacon warmer which has so many openings. It was inside every friggin' opening there. It was on the wall. It was on the thing. I said, what did you do? And he goes, what did he say? He, he shook it or something. I don't know. He obviously did something. He didn't want to tell me, but <laughs> anyway, um, in the room I had that it lasted a couple of days, but day two was only about two out of 10. So I probably should have removed it. In my room, I had about five out of 10, but those were the testers. So I had a note that it's a medium level perfume scent, maybe even light level. It's kind of hard to smell. I did repurchase some because I do really like it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Forever Yours smells like a light version of sugar mixed with shimmer. Oh, very good. Check the link on the main page. That is what I was... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm missing out and stuff here. I have to kind of be better at reading your comments. So hopefully everyone is having a good, good uh, Sunday. What we'll do is I'm just going to take a little sip here. I'm going to drink some pop. <laughs> Don't tell, but I, people, I work at a dental office and I'm drinking pop. Um, while I'm doing this, if you want to share where you're from, I'd love to see. I'm from Halifax area, outskirts. I work in Halifax. I live in Beaver Bank. I hope I don't burp. <laughs> I haven't warmed forever yours, but I'm running out of time. So she's going to, Desiree's going to put it in her club. Thank you. We have 117 people right now. If you, have, if you can take a moment and just hit the like button, that will help YouTube recognize the live video and kind of encourage people to check it out, um, either live or on the replay. So I'd love if you do that. And if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I love things all Scentsy. So if you want to hear about Scentsy stuff, hit the subscribe. I do melt a few other companies, but I would say 80% Scentsy and 20% some other stuff. 
All right, so we're getting lots of stuff. New York, Illinois, Saskatchewan, Virginia, Quebec. I have a lot of customers from Winnipeg. So if you're one of my Winnipegers, <laughs> is that what you call yourself? Um, say hello. Uh, San Antonio, Florida, Atlanta, lots of different places. Do we have anybody uh, over in Europe watching? California, Texas. Lisa says hi, Tennessee, Ontario. Cindy, did you set your alarm? <laughs> so who, who's going to be? Well, tomorrow we have some Stitch and Angel stuff coming. And in a few days is the day that you're probably going to want to set your alarm because you want to get all your stuff early. So Desiree's from Texas. We have Kayla from Washington. Uh, Vegas. We have Germany. There we go. Um, oh, it didn't go off. Well, that's not good. Well, I, I was late starting the live, so... <laughs> Anyway, let's let's move on. Let's talk French toast because I still I gotta whiz through this. We're at 36 minutes. French toast. If you like French toast, let me know. This is a bakery scent. I would say the scent notes are bread, egg batter, powdered sugar, and sweet maple syrup. Definitely get some cinnamon in here. I would say it's not bakery cinnamon. It's kind of leaning towards red hot, so kind of in the middle. Um, it's I described it like when you're making French toast, you have your your liquid that you like your egg, sugar milk or cream mixture and I put a little cinnamon and when you dunk those first couple slices they have a lot of cinnamon because that floats to the top and that's kind of what this smells like to me so this did really well in Ryan's room seven and a half to eight out of ten I left going two full days 48 hours his room still smells like maple like I warmed desert tropics on the weekend and desert tropics overtook the, ma the maple smell sorry <laughs> I'm, I shouldn't drink pop Anyway, I was like, yay, I could smell something besides the maple. And then when Desert Tropics died, I was like, mm, I could smell the maple again. So anyway, very much a lingering scent. But in my open layout, it didn't linger. In my open layout, it smelled less maple-y and a bit more cinnamon bakery, but still with maple. So that's what I got. And I left it going a day in my open layout. So I, I, don't, I think I repurchased two and I'm like, uh. So um, a customer of mine down the road, she said she would buy those off of me. And I said, okay. I'm good with that. Then we have Inner Peace. This one I didn't really like, guys. I'm just going to tell you. I'm a little biased, so I didn't have the greatest performance either. I would say it was between 5 out of 10 and 6.5 and out of 10, and I, I warmed it in small spaces like Ryan's room, the TV room, and my kid's bathroom. So, And I left it going about a day and a half to two days, but it was very light. Um, it says earthy wood notes, lemon groves, and cypress. I have a note here that I, I got cleaner lemon, a citronella, and a dusty wood note. If you like coconut lemongrass, take out the coconut. I forgot to mention that in my video, but that is very much like a, a coconut lemongrass cousin. But to me, it smelled like a dusty, like there was dusty wood. So it, it, it was combating with, with the freshness of the lemony citronella vibe. So this was probably not my least favorite, or it might've been my least favorite or tied for my least favorite or second least favorite. So, but I know that there's a lot of people that love this. Um, Susan, uh, Tracy says her husband really liked inner peace. Uh, Debbie says it was okay. Susan, there's been at least two or three people that said it smelled like ivory soap and I'm like smelling it and I'm like, man, I wish it smelled like ivory soap to my, to my nose. It doesn't. It smells like citronella candle. Dusty is a good word. It made it hard to breathe a little bit. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. I was, sometimes when you have a scent, like I never smelled this before and I was so looking forward to trying it. And then I, I tried it and I was like, oh, cause you, you kind of want to love, you want to love everything. But then you're like, oh, well, if I don't love it, at least my club is going to save a space. So you kind of have to, to find the bright side of things. All right, we're moving to another pile of five. I'm going to get, here's my full French toast. This will probably be going to one of my locals. <laughs> Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go read through your guys' comments and see what the overall consensus is. I have a quick question if you don't mind answering. What is your favorite Bring Back My Bar scent? Well, it's coming up in the next five. Uh, we're going we're gonna to hold on to that. I'll give, give you a little suspense. I got cleaner mi lemon mixed with old something. My iPad keeps timing out. What I'll probably do is up the time here so it doesn't do that. All right, the next one is lemon coconut chiffon. So I have uh, an empty bar because I warmed the whole thing and I have a full bar. So what I've been doing too is dating my bar. So I got this one in June, so I just put 622 on it. Anyway, lemon coconut chiffon would be a, a bakery lemon. 
It says lemon custard, butter cake, and toasted coconut. There is a toasty note, but I don't get an obvious strong coconut presence. It's just a light coconut presence, but a definitely lemon bakery, a creamy, fluffy, yummy cake. Um, this one I got six out of 10 in my open layout, which I was okay with. And in Ryan's room, it was six and a half out of 10. And in the past, I've got buttered popcorn from this and I didn't get that this time, so I was really happy. And sometimes you might get buttered popcorn on cold and you might not get that on warm. So uh, Brandy really liked this one. She said it's perfection. Uh, Tracy said this one was pretty good for her. Uh, and then Robin says that one smells so good. <laughs> so this one I'm probably gonna stock up on, but my local that has me ma manage her club, she she wants to put this in her club. So I kind of have cheat. I I kind of have a backup. If she said take it out of your club, I don't want it anymore. I could be like, well, I'm gonna keep it for myself. <laughs> so it's it's good to have a backup like that. So yeah, I was pleased with this one. So yes, Gail says she has a bar but hasn't warmed it yet. It's okay if you if you, if you're not sure and you think you're gonna like it, just make sure you put it in your club. Okay, here's my favorite. Drum roll, what's my favorite, everyone? <laughs> Love and happiness, the bus driver scent. The scent that the bus driver likes. She doesn't like any of my scents. She complains about all my scents, but she likes this one. <laughs> anyway, this is a very different kind of scent from the notes. The notes don't really tell you what it's gonna smell like. And, and sometimes I find this scent, if you don't like it, it might be because it's kind of perfumey almost like a perfumey body care, vanilla, florally, hazy, creamy, dreamy scent. Maybe if you like cashmere and corduroy, you might like this. But the notes say chestnuts, vanilla, and sugar cane. So you're like, I don't know what that's gonna smell like. But one, one thing I would say is this time of year is not its warming time. If you're a seasonal melter, you might think to yourself, maybe this is not the right time of year. So I'm thinking fall, winter. This was actually a fall, winter scent. It was not a spring or summer. So th keep that in mind. Now, I'm gonna show you something. These, I don't know where my, my new bar is, but these bars all tinge. These are like old mofo bars, <laughs> but they smell great and they age wonderfully. Like they really cure to be strong. And Ashley Peterson, I don't think she's probably here on my live. I love her, she's so cute. <laughs> um, she's probably like half my age. But anyway, Ashley put a whole bar in her bedroom or office or whatever. And I was like, when she said that, I think I was like, oh, because that would be so strong. Because like, to me, this is a real, this one builds and builds. And I find this one's like a good, strong performer, like long lasting and strong. So if, if you don't like it, put in a bigger area so it can disperse a little bit and you'll use up cubes fast. Or you can mix this like with vanilla waves or anything like that to, to switch it up. So anyway, I don't know if I need to say anything else, but let me just tell you very quickly, um, in my entranceway, nine out of 10 maximum strength. Erica's room, eight out of 10. And I left it going three to four days in both of those spots. Medium to medium plus in intensity, long lasting, going to my club, one of my favorites. I actually had this in my club, but I only removed it because I was trying to be cheap and save some money. When I found out it was coming back, I said, I'm gonna remove them and save myself a little bit of money. Desiree says, I love, love and happiness, even though I still need to warm it. I'm waiting. I have to enjoy the whole warm, I think. That was a bit, bit hard for me to catch it all, but I can tell that, yeah, she's like me. She likes it. So if you don't like it, I can encourage you to try it at a different time of year, mix with it, or give it to a friend because somebody else might really enjoy it. And I do have a note here. Um, I was watching, I think it was Laura Whitfield, she had her husband do the first sniffs with her and he really liked it. And I'm thinking to myself, sometimes when you watch the spouses or friends of the Sensi Consultant, they're like brutally honest. Like um, Corey, Ashley's husband, he's brutally honest and funny, but like sometimes they'll just say, oh, this is terrible. And he was like, oh, this is nice. So I'm like, yes, <laughs> I forget his name. Oh, I, I, I definitely know it, but I forget it. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Love you very much. Yes, yeah, I need to go a little faster, don't I, Shannon? Red berries, white peach, cranberry, and vanilla. I have written down, I don't get vanilla. It's a tart berry, cranberry scent, but a little bit of peach. Mudroom area, seven out of 10. Erica's room, eight out of 10. Both left a couple of days. I think if you like Aussie plum, berry blessed, those kind of scents, you'll probably like this. It's not overly unique. It's a little bit better warmed. It's nice. 
Um, it's a scent that my daughter would really like, so I would repurchase it just for her. Oh, okay. So that's good, Shannon. I thought you were keeping me on track. She, she's really good at keeping me on track in the nicest possible way. All right, the next one I really like. This was My Only Sunshine, Yellow Wax. This one I would put in the mystery category because I think there's a little bit of floral, a little bit of woodsy, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of everything. So this one is Golden Tuberose, Jasmine, Sandalwood, Vanilla and Glowing Amber. I have a, that it's like a sunny, feel-good scent. Um, it's soothing and calm, it's just relaxing. So when you see floral, sometimes you get scared, but then you have that amber and the vanilla and the sandalwood that kind of do something magical. And this almost feels like it's like a glowing, warm, feel-good scent. And I think it's company friendly because it's not overly strong. So it's like a light to medium. Let me see what I have. Six out of 10 in Drew's room, seven out of 10 in Ryan's room, but I left it going four to five days in one of those areas and three days in another. I really like this. Puts me in a good mood. Some people might say that it's hard to smell. If that's the case, let it cure a little bit and try it again. Or it just might be a scent that doesn't work for you because we all have scents that somebody else is like, like, spoiler alert, I'm doing, I'm, you're, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but lilacs and violets is not as strong for me as it seems to be for everybody else. So I don't know what that is. Emma says, I love my only sunshine and coal, but after a while I'm warm, I wasn't a fan. And oh, well, like I said, think of it this way, your club has saved one location. <laughs> All right, let's move on to pineapple, coconut, vanilla. Let me know your feedback on pineapple, coconut, vanilla as I read you some details. It is coconut, pineapple, blush, and blue fig. And obviously there's vanilla. In Drew's room, it was seven out of 10, and I left going about two and a half days. In Ryan's room, it was six out of 10, and that's the maximum, obviously it tapers down. I have a, that it was a former spring uh, brick, and it was a body, it's a body care scent. I have a note here, it seems stronger than before. And it seems like it has more blue fig to me than before. Has anybody else? had it before, and then had this, and noticed a difference. So, if you've watched my channel, and Robin, if you are still here, Mr. Patricia, what scent does he love in the soaks? He loves pineapple, coconut, vanilla. I probably, well, what I'll do is I'll buy him one, and then I make him use another scent, and then I let him have that scent again, and then I make him use another scent. It's the shoulder shrug of the bunch. It's okay. So anyway, I had this warming in his Ariel, he's watching TV in Drew's room. And I said, what do you think of the scent in here? And he's like, I don't know. And I said, I said, it's your favorite. <laughs> it's one of your favorite scents. And he, he's, he's like, ah, I didn't even notice. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it didn't smell like in the room the way it does in the bathtub. But anyway, he wasn't huge into it. So I was going to pick some up for him. But after he said that, I was like, no, I'm not going to need to. Because I have a lot of wax. I don't need to buy more. So, But it, it's an okay scent. Says, I really like it in body care, but wax, not a fan. I'm with him. Yeah, so, I mean, he really likes it in soaks. Uh, that's what we're going to stick with. So, I think this is all I have left, and I will warm that and be happy and move on. All right, we're moving into the last batch here, fellas. We have 118 people watching. Thank you. 51, 52 likes. Thank you very, very much. So, the next one is Root Beer Float. So, this is my old bar. And I have three cubes left. And I think I picked this one up from my sponsor, Josie. And this is my new bar. So I haven't dipped into this one. So where am I for root beer float? I probably don't even then. Old fashioned root beer, creamy vanilla ice cream. All right, there's not a lot of ice cream. It's mostly root beer, but it's softened a touch by the ice cream because if you've smelled Sensi's root beer barrel, it is stronger and more potent and like nose burning with that, you know, that sassafras kind of thing going on. This is a little bit creamed out. I think this is a fun scent. It's like juvenile and it's, it's a, like a novelty scent. It's like, let's put the root beer float in. Um, for strength, it was pretty good. It's eight out of 10 and seven and a half to eight out of 10 in another spot. I left it going about a day and a half-ish. That's plenty for me. Oh, didn't try root beer. I don't get the appeal. Yeah, I mean, well, I pick up all the scents as per my kit and Something like this, as soon as I put it in Ryan's room, I didn't even have, I said, what, do, what does your room smell like? He didn't even know the scent existed in life. <laughs> he said, smells like root beer in my room. So, and some people say smell bubble gum, and I just got a bubble gum smell. Yeah, so. Yes, um, if you're someone that doesn't like this, 
just put it in an enclosed room where you can close the door and then whoever does like it can go in that area. That's what I say. And this would be a nice scent to warm. I don't know why, but I feel like like on Halloween because it's, I don't know, it's not super like oh, fall, but it's, it's got those like spiciness of the root beer. Aw, Desiree says root beer reminds me of my son. That's so cute. Those are the good kind of things about Scentsy, right? Simply irresistible. So this one is, it's a, it's a kind of a masculine cologne type scent, but a fresh style. It says lavender, woody background of amber, moss, and musk. Um, this was a little bit stronger than I thought it was going to be. I have 8 out of 10 and 9 out of 10 in the bedroom and the bonus room, respectively. And I left it going, I think, one and a half to two days. I took notes on this and look at them. And I, I, I took terrible notes. <laughs> so I, I was like, and then sometimes I'd have to be like, I have to go back and watch my video. Have you tried it with Vanilla Waves, Joshua? It's on my list to try. Uh-oh. I missed, I, mi I missed what that was. Vanilla Waves is an excellent mixer. If you need something to mix with, to cream something out, but not, I don't know, there's something really nice about it and it's a fairly strong scent. So if it's something that you're kind of trying to disguise, it's a good one to mix. So I think, no, display and brightness, auto lock. Okay, so now I can see. So I'll bring up the thing and I should I should not miss. I'm just gonna bring up, so the last, the last comment I see is Desiree saying laugh out loud, Krista. Okay, so yes, this one I, I found like a fresh, there was some lavender that reminded me of the Dark Harbor lavender. This was just okay for me. It was a nice scent, but I don't tend to warm these kind of scents very often. And I warmed like a boatload of masculine scents Yes, I did see that about Cedar Cider. I love that one. Um, yeah, this is just one that I can easily pass. If I had more, I'd warm it, but if I don't have more, I'm not gonna cry. I got a bit of that licorice note too, Patricia, me too. Okay. All right, let's talk Summer Rain. This always makes me think of that song, It's Rain and Men, remember that one? It's Rain and Men, hallelujah. Because um, there's like cyclamen, it's like, instead you'd be like, it's rain and cyclamen. Because there was a time where Scentsy put cyclamen in a bunch of different things. Like each year they have like a magical note that they love. And this year it was cyclamen and they brought this one out. So this has cyclamen, which is, is a floral. And it has, what else? Fresh botanicals and black lava salt. So if you're someone that <laughs> likes a thunderstorm, but sometimes you're, you're like, man, it's just a little too intense or it's a little bit too sharp or a little bit too something, something, then try this one. It's definitely more subdued. And when I warm this, it makes, it's not like I walk in my house and be like, man, summer rain is like rocking it in my house. What it makes me think is like, man, my house has a good natural background set to it. So like if someone was coming over, I think, especially in a big area, this might work, but I would never warm it in a big area for my pleasure. But if someone was coming over, it would just make my house smell clean, if that makes sense to you. So almost like it's like, almost like an inland, like rain, like inland Hawaii or something. Anyway, does everyone get, else get songs stuck in their head after Patricia's video? Yeah. So, so far we've had Almost Paradise, we've had Simply Irresistible Song, and we've had It's Raining Men, so there you go. Oh, and you know what? For My Only Sunshine, we could do that one um, by 98 Degrees. It's like you're my sunshine after the rain. Get it? So we took, anyway. You're my cure against my fear and my pain. All right, we have two more to go and then we can chat. Whatever you guys want to chat about, we're doing good. We're at 53 minutes. So let's talk very Perry pumpkin. This is the scent that is the controversial scent of the bunch, in my opinion. All right, the notes. Let's read the notes. It says earthy, savory pumpkin. Yes. Tart green apple. I don't really get that. Sweet nashy pear. I don't really get that either, but some people do. And it says toasted roasted spices. I do get toasted roasted spices. And my my um thing doesn't have anything about like autumn air. Like anyway, I should read the description on the website. Very Perry Pumping made me gag. Someone says, I have six in my club since I missed it so much. Six of this one? <laughs> anyway, 
So I have a note here. Okay, where if Amy is watching the replay, this is for you, Amy. This was a garage scent. This was a true garage scent because I didn't really like this one. And I thought I'm gonna warm it in my garage because I want to use it there so I don't have to go, so I don't have to visit it very much. Okay, if you like pumpkin marshmallow, you might like this. There's to me, there's like nutmeg in here. That's my toasted roasted spice. I think I mainly get nutmeg. So I have a note here, earthy pumpkin, like pumpkin marshmallow, nutmeg, and there's a bit of a clean, fresh air kind of note to me. I don't get any pear. And I do have a note here, um, oh, for strength, it was a very strong eight and a half out of 10 in the garage, and in my bonus room, nine out of 10. And I have a, I have a note that I was like, it was like creeping out. So Robin said, what did she say? I made my sister smell it, and she literally almost threw up, up on her lap. Aw, that's too bad. So I think, I think what, everyone did for this scent. I mean, there's probably a lot of people that like it or not a lot. There's probably some people that like it, but maybe what they were doing is Lisa Robert really likes it and they're like, let's trust her opinion, which is fine. Or for someone like me, I would think to myself, you know what, Lisa Robert has done a sh you know what load <laughs> for the Scentsy community. If she wants very Perry Pumpkin back, I'm okay with her having it back. <laughs> so I'm I'm saying I'm gonna take one for the team and I don't mind having this one back if it lets her have her scent back because I think she's done a lot for the Scentsy community, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, I just wish that I liked it too. I don't really like this one. This is probably my least favorite or tied with Inner Peace. And I think you can bakery this up quite a bit. And my local customer down the road has ordered this and then she, I have another order going in tomorrow and she wants more. So there's people out there that like it, so I think it's one of those scents like some people hated Perfect Pumpkin Pear and then some people loved it. I didn't like that one either. I think I like this one better than Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Baby food, I've heard people say baby food. I've heard people say vomit. Yeah, anyway, it, it performed okay. So you can mix it. You can mix it or you can give it away. Or you can, so the only thing about mixing it as a drawback to mixing is that it makes the scent it takes you longer to use up the bar. So if you just put it in your garage <laughs> or put it somewhere that you're like, I'm still using it so I don't feel bad. Or maybe you're someone that you're like, I'm gonna be free and just throw it out. That's okay too. Do whatever works for you. All right, the last scent is Zeppelin. We're gonna talk about this briefly because I didn't really get a ton out of this in terms of like, it wasn't a big standout to me. Okay, where are my notes? It says citrus, green sage, herbaceous vetiver, earthy sandalwood. I have that in my kid's bathroom was about six to seven out of 10 and Ryan's room six out of 10. I have a note that it seemed to lose steam fast. And in Ryan's room, I could still smell the maple of the French toast while this was going. So that was not good for me. <laughs> but I mean, the, the, when I smelled this in the kid's bathroom where I got a better, a better whiff of it, it kind of made me think of like, almost like one of those like, um, you know, like a fireman calendar where they're like dressed in like their little fireman thing, but they're at they're at a, a brand new motorcycle shop and everything's all steel and shiny and they're standing up against like the, the vehicle or the motorcycle. And that's kind of what this made me think of. A nice, a nice masculine smell, but like some sort of fresh steel. But it, it wasn't a huge standout performer. And I think back in the day, it kind of reminds me of Cambridge, but Cambridge was so strong and this was kind of on the lighter side, so. Anyway, so, so in terms of the overall consensus for me is I would say two are going to my club, Love and Happiness and Cotton Candy Cookie. I stocked up on Lemon Coconut Chiffon. I bought quite a few Cutie Pie Cupcake. I bought a few Blackberry Orange Marmalade. I bought a few here and there of other ones, but there was a lot of female perfumey kind of variation scents that were a light to light medium that may not work for some people so if you want a strong powerhouse scent you're probably going to want to go with scents like blueberry pancakes maybe french toast maybe blackberry orange marmalade um and a lot of these are like mediums there's a lot of mediums buckleberry is probably a little bit on the strong side for me personally but but a lot of the the fruity scents did okay they were about an average and, and a, lot, a lot of those body care are light um, with the exception of love and happiness, which is a bit stronger. So let me see here. Someone says, hand up for the calendar. <laughs> you made me want Zeppelin. Well, it's nice, but it just, I think what it is too, I warmed a lot of masculine scents because when I was warming like Route 66, Sandalwood Tangerine, um, 
oh, what else did I warm? Um, sexy business casual. Um, I warm simply irresistible Zeppelin. Like I started getting them not really mixed up, but I'm like, <laughs> which one stands out to me? Sensi needs to start making calendars, naughty freaking firemen and just regular Sensi stuff. I don't know. All right, let me bring up, what do you guys want to talk about? What's leaving? I think I saw, um, thank you to my friend Shannon who gives me a lot of the Facebook updates because I don't get those. So I appreciate my, my buddy Shannon is always looking out for me. And here we have, um, I think I have a list here. What's leaving? I don't have the actual list. Oh, please tell me I have my, but what I did was I went through my old, my old last year's fall and winter and I put dots next to the ones that were, were leaving or didn't come back. I'll just say the ones that aren't, they were in last year's fall and winter that aren't in this fall and winter. So we have almond croissant. The next one. Well, I mean, that one's a hard pill to swallow because a lot of people like that one. But this one, apple butter frosting. I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Best in snow isn't coming back. I believe uh, Cindy really likes that one. Breakfast in bed. I kind of see the writing on the wall for breakfast in bed. I'm sad about squeeze the day. Just fell in love with this year. Well, don't get too upset. Like, I think I think they have something up their sleeve. So Butter Pecan is not coming back, which I found a great performer and I liked, even though I don't like maple, but that one I liked. Cloudberry Dreams is not coming back. Homestead Holiday is not coming back. And some I got a few people messaging me and they're like, did you put it in your club? Did you put it in your club? And I'm like, yes. It's funny, I added that one in at the last minute. So I'm, I'm okay for my Christmas, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve kind of time. Just Breathe is not coming back. I'm surprised because that is really a bad sign if Just Breathe is going away as we head into the season of Just Breathe because it's really um, kind of purchased quite heavily in those I'm getting sick kind of months. Not saying that Sensi says that it, it cures anything, but that is usually not a good sign. My Hero is not coming back, so that, that is not a good sign either because that is it could be a fall, winter, or spring, summer, so really... And it's funny, I mix, I missed jammy time. And so thank you to Brandy who pointed it out to me. And I'm like, jammy time is, <laughs> jammy time is leaving? I missed that when I was somehow going through. And so she asked me what I was going to do. And I said, well, for jammy time. So the thing about jammy time is it's not a favorite set of mine, but I really have grown to appreciate it and like it quite a bit. And it's an excellent performer. And I'm like, Sensi, don't get rid of the excellent performers. It's strong and it's long lasting. Come on. So I'm thinking to myself, because Fluffy Fleece is coming into the catalog, and I think Fluffy Fleece is gonna be like fall and winter cozy laundry, and jammy time is gonna be spring and summer cozy laundry. Now, just because I think that that doesn't mean that it's gonna come back, so if you love jammy time, put it in your club because it's an excellent performer, it's an excellent value, sends you back, so. What am I missing? I know, I know, I can't believe it. I don't know if it's discontinuing laundry and stuff because I, I haven't gone through the whole, like someone sent me, I think Brandy also sent me the other screenshots and I just haven't had time to look at them with the detail, but yes, I do have a scent memory with Jamie Tom. Makes me think of my sister, so. I do have a brick and that brings up, uh, so what they might do is maybe they're wanting people to enroll in Scentsy Club and they're like, if you like any of those brick scents that are leaving, you can get them in Scentsy Club. And so some of those are, are coming up and we'll talk about those here in a second. So where was I? Uh, perfectly pomegranate, that's been gone for a catalog, so we don't really need to talk about that. Red berry and spruce is not coming back. Sea salt and avocado is a brick, it's in Sensi Club brick, but it's not returning in bar. And so I'm like, okay, that doesn't mean anything. They could bring it back in spring, summer, because it is more of a spring, summer scent to me. But I love that one. It's one of my favorite green, fresh scents. I love it. So I'm, you know, I'll be putting that in my club. All right, any of you Snowberry fans? No, not coming back. Not coming back. I'm surprised at that because looking back, that one has been around for a long, long time. It's hot. Okay, we have 134 people. It's not really hot in Nova Scotia today. It's a nice day, but I've got the windows closed. <laughs> I'm just getting warm. Um, so Snowberry, yes. Squeeze the Day is another one of the very popular scents that is more, probably more spring, summer popular 
Uh, so I can see them retiring it, but they're, what they're doing is they're really saying, okay, we're going to have like a fall and winter scent, and then we're going to have like a million changes for the spring and summer. So we're going to, our transition kits as Scentsy Consultants is what you get. You get all the testers that are switching the catalog. So something like Manila Bean Buttercream is in the catalog year round. When you get your transition kit, that will not be in it. But you're getting all the new stuff. And so there's going to be a lot of testers because each season it seems like there's more and more scents that are switching over and they're retiring more each season but they're bringing them back for more season specific so all right vanilla waves is retiring i'm kind of sad about that i've really grown to love that one it is definitely going in my top 12 cents of scentsy scents for this year it's a great mixer it's a wonderful it's on its own it's very nice i'm definitely getting putting that one in my club and vanilla mint is not coming back Oh, I missed one. Sunkissed Citrus. Sorry. Sunkissed Citrus is also not... That one has been around for a long, long time. So we got no lemon. We got no orange. <laughs> we got no jammy time. We got no sea salt and avocado. Those are four bricks that you can get. Anyway, and then vanilla mint is not coming back, but it is returning in cleaning products. So I'll be enjoying it in cleaning products. Out of those ones I mentioned, I do have apple butter frosting in my club. I have vanilla mint in my club and I have homestead Hol holiday in my club. So I'm safe, but I did miss out on um, Butter Pecan. I didn't put that in my club, but I do really like that one. So I'm happy to see that Pumpkin Roll came back because I'm always worried about that one. Debbie says, I'm bummed about Vanilla Mint. And De Desiree says, Vanilla Waves is safe in the, safe in the club. So yeah, um, but we have a lot of scents that are new that are coming. We have 10 new scents and the consultants can buy the new bars on Jan or January 1st, July 1st. So that'll be good. You'll start hearing about the scents and the scent notes that way. So let's see, do we have any questions? I uh, wish I had tried vanilla mint sooner. Shannon says, Sunkissed Citrus has been in year round for at least four years. Deborah says, Scentsy needs an almond scent. I think there's certain scent notes that people are scared of. So let's talk about that. Like you guys can list, if you have a scent note that you're scared of, list it below. I'm going to say for me, it's lavender. If I see lavender, I'm like, uh-oh. Some people, it's cinnamon. Some people, it's like almond. Some people, it's cherry. So list below, what is your scent note that probably makes you the most nervous? When you see it, you're, you're, you're panicking a little bit. We have 136 people watching. So thank you so, so much. 70 likes on the video. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so. It'll help me um, get the word to YouTube that this is a worthwhile video. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget, you can hit the little live chat and you can follow along. So lavender and jasmine, amber, white grapefruit, rose. Oh yes, rose is definitely one. Lilac, lilac, I can't say that. Anything floral, rose, rose, lavender. I'm reading some of the comments for you. Lavender reminds me of an old lady perfume. Someone says maple, caramel, caramel. Oh, somebody says, will there be any marshmallow scents? It's funny, I've had a customer message me and say, I need some marshmallow scents. Is there anything in marshmallow? And so we're, we're kind of deficient in that. So hopefully that'll come back. I have caramel, sage, rose, and lemon. Patrice says so many. <laughs> You're funny, Patrice. Uh, gardenia. So like, so any of these notes, you see some repetitive things, floral. Uh, you just have to be careful if you have company coming over. You want it. Try to avoid things that are really strong and things that are really divisive. So some people really like, and I mean, you don't know what your, if you had company coming over, you don't know what their preferences are, but, but you could probably steer, steer clear of like very controversial scents. And sometimes when people say, well, I do have company coming over, what would you suggest? I always, 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 always suggest trying to pick one that's like a medium level and then also pick a bestseller because they're usually bestsellers for a reason. We do have a marshmallow deficiency. Prescribe a marshmallow bar stat. <laughs> I have one of my main marshmallow bars is uh, Lay Slippers, and another one I really like is Marshmallow Mint. I have both of those in my club. All right, what am I missing? So what we'll do is we'll try to talk, we'll try to wrap things up, but I want to see from you guys if you have any questions or you just want to talk about any certain things, we can talk. Smoke can be scary, like almond um, around the campfire smoke. Yes, we definitely need more marshmallow because it's like a good creamy mixer and it's an alternative to a vanilla mixer because it doesn't smell like vanilla, it smells like marshmallows. Butter, yeah, sometimes butter is an overused scent note in my opinion. Pepper, <laughs> pepper isn't a lot of masculine scents. Sometimes like fall, winter, 
scents have pepper, but it's in a lot of masculine scents. And sometimes, is Homestead Holiday in your club? Yes, it is. Okay, let's, let's give Scentsy a grade. This is gonna be fun. Speaking of scent notes, what grade would you give Scentsy? How well the scent notes match to the way that, what the end product is. So we'll do like A, B, C, D, or F. And you can do pluses or minuses. I wanna see what grade would you give Scentsy for accurately portraying what the scent smells like via the scent notes. So we have a B, we have some Bs coming up. Just gonna take a drink while you guys do that. I usually don't drink on my videos because I don't like it when other people drink on my video on their videos, but when you're talking a lot without a break, it's hard to do. So we're getting a lot of Bs, we're getting some Ds, Cs, Bs. Yeah, certain certain scents, they don't really depict what the scent smells like. And I think what it is is they have probably anywhere from like six to 12 very prominent scents in the in the makeup, and there could be even more. I would love to go to Scentsy. Someday I hope to go to Scentsy, and if they'll let me go, like hear about how scents are made and show me like the oil room and let me into the spot that like, let me into the computer that has all the bring back my bar scent voting options and I'll start, <laughs> I'll start clicking yes, add to list, add to list, add to list. So I'm hoping someday I'll get to go to Scentsy, but it's really hard uh, for me to do that. So just because of my family situation. I always wait until I get a fragrance before I grade it. For anyone who has overlooked the life is what you make it warmer, it is stunning. A tour would be like going to Wonka land, sign us up. It says yes, uh, I'd say A for the most part. So I think what we're gonna do is, um, one other thing I wanna say is just that I really appreciate you guys watching. It's always fun to do this. If you want me to do a live video, um, I'm just trying to think of what else would be applicable to do a live video. Maybe once we start, maybe when I do my first sniffs, would you prefer a live or a regular? You can put that down in the comments below, live or regular, and I'll do that. And I'll, I'll make sure I add them to Tester Tuesday. I actually have um, this Tuesday's video coming up. I will have a scent that is new to the catalog, but not brand new to us that I'll put in there. And what else was I gonna say? Oh. On the week, on Friday when I was working, in between patients, I was <laughs> I was writing down like on my tablet all of my Tester Tuesday scents that I've done. And I the reason I, I, I forget what ones I've done, and someone said, did you do Stitch? And I'm like, yeah, I, I've done Stitch. I looked it up and I'm like, no, I have not. <laughs> I haven't done Stitch. And I'm like, well, I don't know if people want that one because it's been around for a while to come back. So, uh, but I did 455 cents so far and I've done three by mistake, I did three cents two times each, <laughs> so I needed to really do a list. So anyway, I, I hope you can always know to refer for, refer to those. And remember, it's just one person's opinion. Um, I encourage you always to watch multiple videos, multiple empties, multiple hauls. You can get an idea of everybody's opinion. Everybody has a different take on things. But if you kind of watch enough videos, you'll get an overall sense. Like you might say, oh, I'm getting an overall sense that very Perry pumpkin is not well loved. And you're like, I'm getting an overall sense that French toast has a lot of maple and maybe too much cinnamon, and that's not for me. So just always remember. And before we sign off, just please, if you could type down in the comments below, thank you to uh, Patrice, Shannon, and Johanna. They're always people that have a little wrench on them and they delete any weird comments from weirdos. So <laughs> thanks to Patrice, Shannon, and Johanna. And thanks to you all for watching. We have a great group of people in my Scentsy community. I love you all. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and welcome. And I, I will see you guys. I gotta sign off, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.